Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Tyler Merkovich with Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you our 2010 season preview for the Jacksonville Jaguars. 7-9 last year. Of course, Del Rio really on the hot seat now. They lost four in a row to end of the season. The biggest problem was the pass rush, and they really addressed, addressed it. And this year's headline is rush them to play them. They're youth. They had a great draft last year. They're going to play those second year guys a lot. And when they were at their best in 07 and 05, they were ninth and third in sacks. So this team really needs to get over that Stroud Henderson moving on mm -hmm. stage. Garrard, 31 and 31 at uh, career record as a starter quarterback. Luke McCown backs him up this year. Dirk Cutter really needs to open up the offense. Monroe and Britton, they're two key offensive linemen. Drafted last year very early. Mm -hmm. They're going to anchor that offensive line. Uh, NJD, Rashad Jennings, great running backs, and Greg Jones, who's been injured, but great for him that he's found a role as a fullback now. Yeah, I like David Garrard. I think he, he gets a lot of flag, but I like him. He's very solid, a guy that high percentage. He doesn't take too many shots down the field, but he's really, really solid. So that's the thing. You know, I, I really like him a lot. Backup quarterback. I don't, Luke McCown must have. I don't know how he gets on NFL rosters. You know, not nothing against Luke McCown, but you want to keep an eye on undrafted rookie free agent. Trevor Harris out of Edinburgh, a guy that I thought was going to get drafted. Solid, small school player, but they really need the garage to step up this year and provide that playmaking ability he did back in the And the theme goes on for the undrafted rookie but, free agents. And running back, they have excellent depth. I want to I want to make that DJ Karim. DJ Karim. Yeah, from uh, Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois, Saluki. So he's a solid running back. It, to he's go their along. third guy. The third Jennings guy. is really stepping up out of liberty. They love these small school guys. Because they mean, produce. Just, yeah. If you can produce, you can play for the Jacksonville Jaguars. They don't mind taking you out yeah. of a small Smaller school, they just need to produce. And I think you're going to see a lot more carries from Chris Jennings this year because he had. You, you want to spell a little bit of Jones Drew. You don't want to keep feeding and feeding him, even though he's a talented playmaker. But you want to get him some, some reps. Well, they were old and banged up on the offensive line last year, but they started two rookies. They still mm -hmm. end up tenth in rush offense. MJD, oof, you don't need a lot for him to rush 126 yards per game as a team. But MJD is a powerhouse, and Monroe and Britton are going to anchor that offensive line. Meester still there, mm -hmm. so we'll see what happens. But wide receiver Mike Sims Walker, he was coming off injury last year, had a pretty good year. Sky's the limit for him. Troy Williamson is there, but they love two second year guys at a BYU in Arizona, respectively. Jared Dillard and Mike Thomas, who broke the school record. And tight end Mercedes Lewis really coming on, and former college quarterback out of Nebraska Omaha, Zach Miller. So those are the weapons for Garrard. Yeah, a lot of people looking for someone to step up as their third wide receiver, but Jared Dill out of Rice will do that. I mean, he's 5'11, 180, a guy that catches everything, broke Rice's record, a uh, receiving record at the university, but that's pretty awesome. You mentioned Thomas out of Arizona, and Zach Miller, very underrated tight end. You know, Nebraska Omaha, another small school guy, but a guy that can produce. So the wide receivers are very, very solid. And you look at Monroe and Britton, two future stars. Now the interior offensive line, that's where they have to improve. That's where we get a lot of pressure up the middle of the of the offensive line, which forced Garrard to get sacked because he held the ball a little bit too long. But the tackles are fine. Interior offensive line has to play better. On defense, dead last in sacks with only 14 last year. And that really hurt their pass game because they finished 27th, giving up 235 yards per game through the air. But it all starts up front. This is why they reach for this guy out of Cal, the versatile defensive tackle, Tyson Alu Alu. They like his demeanor, they like his makeup, they like his upside. He could play end or tackle. He'll team up with second year man Terrence Potros Knighton out of Temple, who had a great rookie year. We talk about all these second year guys. They really had a good draft, and they feel that they're really playing all these guys. They're very key components to this team and probably the riskiest free agent pickup was picking defensive end Aaron Campman up from the Packers really didn't fit in well for that 3-4 system as an outside mm -hmm. linebacker he's back at his natural 40 end spot and uh, he's coming off a knee injury so who knows with him and Derek Harvey very underachieving uh, coming out of Florida as a first round pick so what do you think of them up front? I think the rookie influx of talent is going to help out the defensive line tremendously they're going to be able to get rushed now because when you're a young rookie you want to prove yourself you want to impress the coaches you want to prove your worth in the NFL so bring guys in like a Lulu out of Cal, Austin Lane, small college guy out of Murray State, Larry Hart out of Central Arkansas and DeAnthony Smith out of Louisiana Tech those guys can come in with a chip on their shoulder want to make a statement this is the class they're going to turn around and they're going to provide that pass rush the question is can Harvey take that next step and be that first round pick that they drafted him out of uh, Florida? He has to really step up and play huge. 
and Camp is going to be fine. Put him in that seven technique or nine technique. He's going to be outstanding. If he's healthy, he's going to get after the quarterback because he really is better suited for a four three than a three four. And then linebacking core, very very solid group of guys. They mm -hmm. bring in Kirk Morrison with a draft day trade, which was huge. He also moved the rent to his more natural spot of outside linebacker, and Daryl Smith is the best linebacker out of the three. Well, yeah, Daryl Smith, I mean, he's going to move to, uh, he's going to play outside right. now, and he's a good backer also. Quentin Groves was drafted with Harvey, and he was he's out the door already. He might be Harvey next if he doesn't pr pr produce. Mm -hmm. Morrison, a very vocal leader on the floor. But the secondary, really disappointing also. I know the pass rush wasn't there, but Rashawn Mathis, Really, you expected better things out of him, but he's still you, he's still going to be the cornerback. He is a very good one. Derek Cox is a rookie last year, and the safety spot. Who knows what happened with Reggie Nelson last year? He was missing tackles all over the place. Gerald Alexander will be at the other safety spot. Anthony Smith will push Nelson for the for the safety spot. Well, I look at the corners. The corners are solid. Derek Cox showed me a lot as a rookie. Caught an interception in week one. You know, he got he was thrown into the fire. He got burnt a little bit. But that's going to happen as a rookie. So now he's going to be solid. Rasheem Mathis is by far one of the best cornerbacks in this division and in the NFL. He catches interceptions. He's big. He's about 6'2", 190, a guy that can, you know, make plays on the ball. Question mark is safety. You know, so that's that's one thing. I know I'm about to bring it up again. Keep an eye on undrafted rookie free agent Ter Terrell Whitehead out of Norfolk State. Another guy with ball skills. Better than Reggie Nelson back there in the secondary. That's up for grabs. Nick cornerback is also up for grabs as well, too. Don Carey is a guy you want to keep an eye on. Another talented guy, quick beat as well. Scott Starks, both competing. Both coming off IR and they both competing for that nickel spot. But both guys have some ability and can't play football. Special teams coach Russ Purnell has done a pretty good job. Josh Scoby attempting a lot of many, a lot of long kicks. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the why his percentage is down, but he's a very reliable kicker. Hunter Adam Potlesh is okay. They pick up specialist Kasim Osgood, who's really a wide receiver, but he makes his mark on special teams. And Mike Thomas is going to rely on kick returns and punt returns. Well, that's why they drafted Scotty McGee, cornerback out of James Madison, another small school. He's going to be the return, mm -hmm. outstanding returner for the Dukes in the FCS level. So he's going to provide that spark in their return game. So I like their return units. That's going to have to be huge because I do like Scobie as a kicker, but the return game, you know, and if they need a pitch, they could put. Jones drew back there. Well, return game was okay. Punt return 14th, kicks return tied for 16th, so it could improve the mm -hmm. middle of the pack. Jacksonville, big year for Del Rio. See what happens. A lot of question marks, a lot of second year guys, so it's a little changing of the guard. I like Jacksonville. I think they're going to be fine this year. With youth involved, they're going to be fine on defense. I think that's going to be the biggest surprise for Jacksonville Jaguars. Offense, they're going to be able to hold up. I think they'll be fine. Well, Keep an eye on Jacksonville. Any team with MJD on it really right. has a chance every game. MJD plus defense could win you any ball game, especially in November and December. Their only problem was inconsistency. They come week to week, that's how people be. Of course, Gerard is up to him. He's also on the hot seat. For more, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or check out our YouTube page at youtube.com slash footballgameplan.